Hey guys, update 2.2 for Affinity Software was recently released. I already cover Affinity Designer. Today we're going to talk about Affinity Photo. So what's new in this program? First thing, similar to Designer, now we can uh, long press to switch to a certain tools temporary. So that's going to be really handy because I can just press let's say shortcut for a pen tool that will be a letter p i press and hold that i'm still holding it and while i'm holding it i can use this tool kind of like temporary and when i release that p i'm jump jump back to my previous tool automatically and now i'm back with the move tool so if you got like some kind of workflow where you need to switch between two tools constantly that's going to be a really time saver. So that's a really nice addition and it's available across the software. So in all three programs, what's next? Now we got a support for a version two of open color IO. So if you are someone that work with that format, that config, that's a nice addition, more like a catching up, right? Because that's from February, I think version two. So we are catching up with that so that's here in affinity photo version 2.2 what else now we can change guides colors and i was quite surprised because i was thinking that's already here that's nothing new but no that's actually a new feature for version 2.2 now you can see we got those guides here to add a guide you simply drag and drop from this area at the top from the ruler or maybe from the side right so we can drag guides to help ourselves align elements in the layout but in the past they got this default blue color now we can simply click view guides and we can change that this default color to anything we want uh, ideally we want some kind of contrasting color with design so if you got um, blue design you want to change them to something else i just move it to the green color so now we can modify that nice little addition to the interface we got some additional keyboard shortcuts as well. So you may know that for the brush tool or any tool that use a brush size, we can use square brackets, right? Now, if you hold shift, you can have a greater control on that. You'll be moving this exactly in hardness and size and exactly 10% up and down. So there are some additional shortcuts. And if you wanna learn about that, you're a power user that use a lot of shortcuts. You should definitely check the official documentation for the full list, what's new, what's changed. So there are some changes in shortcuts as well. And the last feature I want to mention today is the same one that they add into a publisher. This they added into designer as well. Now we can manually create and move elements and that's really handy. So if I want to add element like square, rectangle, stuff like that triangle all right let's go with the triangle i can do it manually right but i can also press command and just click on the artboard and this will be this pop-up box that's new huh now i can just simply type the size of this new element all right and i will get exactly the size i want and in some shapes like this triangle i can also control sliders from here and when i creating the element i can put manually the properties of it so that's nice but it's not only for creating elements we can use similar pop-up box for moving or even duplicating the existing element so if i try to move it with my move tool right i need to do it all by the move tool i can hold command to make some duplicates and stuff like that but if I simply hit enter or return on my keyboard while the object is selected, I got this pop-up window move slash duplicate. And from here, I can just type 400 pixels to the right. And this way we can move it very precisely. We can also, instead of moving it, turn on duplicates by clicking this checkbox and we can keep adding duplicates. So that's nice. And of course you can select more than one object and use that feature with multiple objects to create some duplicates or to move it very precisely. So here are the five new features in Affinity Photo. We can move or create objects with the pop-up window. 
typing from keyboard. We got some additional keyboard shortcuts. We can now change guide colors. We got a support for new format. And also long press will give you the tool temporary. So it's really handy if you're working with two tools, switching between two tools constantly. Not much, I would say, not many new features for Affinity Photo, mainly because update 2.2 was focused on Affinity Publisher, really heavy on Publisher. Almost everything new is for Publisher this time. So I'm going to cover Affinity Publisher very soon, probably next week. So subscribe, you will not miss this next video about Publisher and I hope I will see you next time. Bye!